Hello, my name is Alex Gardner and I'm applying for the, the role of Academy Strength and Conditioning Coach at Nottingham Forest Football Club. First of all, I'd love to work for Nottingham Forest Football Club as an Academy Strength and Conditioning Coach as they have a rich history of winning trophies. With numerous league and cup championships as well as European championships to bout, I'd love the chance to be able to bring back trophies to Nottingham Forest and help them progress back up to the league system, to the Premier League and hopefully get them back to winning ways. <coughs> Secondly, I'd also like to work for Nottingham Forest because I'd love the opportunity to help develop young players, up, young up and coming players coming through the system into first team players and hopefully into world class footballers. Not only this, I'd love to help these footballers become successful in their careers, be successful for Nottingham Forest and again bring back trophies to the club, whether that be European Championships, Premier League titles once they get back up there, but until then just bringing back trophies to the club like they deserve. <coughs> First of all, my, the knowledge that I have that is, makes me useful for the role of strength and conditioning coach in the academy is that I have played an intermittent, intermittent team sport in rugby league at a higher level for over two, 12 years. This has allowed me to gain knowledge in how team sports are played, how they train and how they, how they train in the gym and on the field to make sure that they are the best possible uh, players. More specifically, I've played football for three years, which means I've trained, played under coaches and I have a strong idea of how the game is played, how, how to best build a player to, be able to become a world-class footballer. I'm also an avid fan of the sport and I, I tend to watch it every weekend. This means that I have a, a strong understanding of the sport and I understand the rules and regulations of each match with, the refer with what the referees mean. This is good for this role as a football academy strength and conditioning coach for a football team. I need to understand what the demands of the game are so that I can build, help build the players to be able to meet those demands and exceed past them. My second bit of knowledge that I possess from Mitch Good as an academy strength and conditioning coach for Nascombe Forest is that during my time at university studying sports and exercise science, I have taken part in numerous experiments and analysed data from these experiments. This has given me valuable knowledge in how to use elite level and the gold standard of testing equipment in team sports. <coughs> I've had to analyse data from these tests and present them back to people, which I understand during my day-to-day -day life as an academy strength and conditioning coach, I will be tasked with uh, presenting back information to the head coaches of the first team, up to the under-23s and all the other coaches in the club, so that they can understand how the young players are getting on and if they need to progress up to the next level. The experience I possess, which makes me useful for the role of academy strength and conditioning coach in Nottingham Forest, is that I have worked as an assistant coach in a CrossFit gym setting. During my time in the role at the CrossFit gym, I was able to shadow a head coach and understand the day-to-day -day life of what a strength and conditioning coach goes through, how to plan it, how to plan their days, how they program, and how they speak to their clients. And while this may have been in a private setting, I do think it has a lot of transferable skills from it and experiences that can be put into the pri more uh, private sector of football. As an assistant coach, I completed many jobs, whether these be menial tasks such as cleaning and maintenance of equipment, to actually programming and holding my own clients in a gym setting. I was able to program sessions and work with them individually, whether that be individually on a one-to-one -one setting as well as on a larger scale in a group class setting. This experience in a coaching environment has proven invaluable to me as it allows me to be confident in my ability to, to provide high-level coaching as well as high-level support to uh, adults. Again, while, this may be, while I may have only trained adults so far, I do think the skills and the experiences of this job are very transferable to the, children, the uh, academy setting that I'll be working with and I hope to progress further and gain more experience working for Nottingham Forest. The skills I possess which make me useful for this job is that due to my uh, history of playing team sports with 12 years playing rugby league and three years playing football, my communication and teamwork and skills are very well developed due to having to work with others uh, to solve problems to allow a team to win. Now, as a, as a hooker in rugby league, I'm tasked with planning plays and working with my halfbacks to uh, organise players so that we can score. This means that I'm very vocal and I have to communicate well. I believe that this skill uh, is very transferable to the workplace. As, a, as an academy strength and condition coach, I'll be tasked with 
uh, communicating with every other coach in the club, whether it's this be the physiotherapist all the way up to the head coaches of each squad, as the people will want to know how the, how the academy players are progressing and if they need to do any more. <clears throat> the second skill I possess, uh, for, which is useful as an academy strength and conditioning coach for Nottingham Forest, was that I have quite high level max off of his skills due to being around computers from such a young age. Specifically, my Excel and Word skills are, are very well developed due to my previous experience of using it in work at, in a CrossFit gym setting, as well as using Excel. As well as using Excel uh, uh, to program my own strength and conditioning sessions, uh, whether it's been a macro or micro se uh, cycle setting. So, I tend to program for up to a year, or, or I can do in a, on a week to week basis uh, for myself. I believe this is very transferable over to the academy setting as I'll, I'll be using Excel to program sessions and test and analyse the players' data so that I can see how to develop them better. <coughs> I've also completed uh, numerous assessments on LinkedIn to do with Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel and have completed badges to make sure that I am ready to use them in a workplace setting. While at your organisation, I would love the opportunity to develop my skills further, uh, develop my skills further, and become a better practitioner. I, I would relish the opportunity to be able to communicate and and develop my communication skills, with, whether that be with head coaches, with with the players themselves, getting to know people, and being able to get my points across to people, as well as taking in criticisms and help from other people to become a better strength and conditioning coach uh, throughout my time with you. Thank you very much for listening and have a good day.